Hey guys, it's Jason with Your Tech Explained, and today I've got the Asus Zenfone AR, with the AR standing for Augmented Reality. The name is a little misleading, however, because the Zenfone AR does more than augmented reality. It is also capable of virtual reality. So whether you're looking to tango or daydream, the Zenfone AR has you covered. The ASUS Zenfone AR has a metal frame that feels solid in the hand and a 5.7 inch Quad HD AMOLED screen on the front. The screen was bright with decent colors, but overall lacked the vibrant colors and the deep blacks that I'm accustomed to from other AMOLED panels. Also included on the front are capacitive keys with a physical home button housing the fingerprint scanner. While the capacitive keys light up, they are not set up to do so unless touched occasionally making it a little difficult to find them. Even with all the tech packed into the Zenfone AR, they were still able to include a headphone jack, so no dongles required here. The speaker has good volume, but like all side-mounted speakers, it can get muffled by your hand fairly easily. The back of the Zenfone AR is using a faux leather texture that helps with gripping this larger phone. That can be helpful because you don't want to drop your phone while using Tango apps. The real star of the show is the tri-cam system set up on the back that makes augmented reality possible. These three cameras include a depth sensing camera, a motion sensing camera, and a traditional 23 megapixel camera. If you're unfamiliar with augmented reality, think of it like Pokemon Go when you're catching the Pokemon in your real surroundings. Only if it were a Tango enabled app, these Pokemon could actually run around the screen and climb on top of real objects. It's a very cool technology with a lot of potential that still has not been fully utilized. Since the first Tango phone I reviewed last year, the app selection has barely grown, only adding around a handful of new apps. The apps range from mostly games to measurement and decorating apps to apps that show you products in your home to help you buy them. This can be a bit disappointing because many of them are quite simple and feel more like proof of concept than anything else meaning no matter how advanced and cool this technology is, you're probably going to get bored of it quickly, due to the limited amount of apps. If you're more interested in virtual reality over augmented reality, or you just like having options, the Zenfone AR is perfect because it's the first phone to be both Tango and Daydream compatible. Unfortunately, I don't have a Daydream headset to test this out, because Google still charges far too much for it, and like augmented reality, the app still seems simple or proof of concept, giving me no real reason to actually want to buy it, even if it was more affordable. The ASUS Zenfone AR is running a Snapdragon 821 with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage in this Verizon exclusive model. This gives it plenty of power to handle most of what you throw at it. Games played great, and switching apps was fast. There were a couple of glitches in Tango apps occasionally, but I attribute that to the Tango technology and not to the performance. Be aware the phone does get pretty hot though when taxing it with Tango apps. The Zenfone AR comes with Android Nougat 7.0 out of the box with ASUS's skin over the top. While it looks nothing like stock Android, the theme itself isn't terrible and I found it pretty easy to live with. Compared to other skins, it didn't feel as heavy or bloated, which kept performance smooth. The 23 megapixel camera on the back uses an f2.0 aperture with a 4 axis optical image stabilization. When in decent light, the photos looked good with a fairly balanced exposure and good color saturation. In low light, the images weren't quite as nice due to cramming 23 megapixels onto a small sensor. Overall, though, the photos were acceptable. There is also an 8 megapixel camera on the front featuring extensive beauty mode controls for all of your selfies. Inside of the Zenfone AR is a 3300 milliamp hour battery, which should be sufficient for normal daily use. I found it topped out around 4 hours of screen on time, which is not great, but around average, and if you plan on using augmented reality or virtual reality apps, it is going to burn through the battery much faster meaning you're not going to get much time to play with all the cool tech packed inside of this phone. It would have been nicer if they included a larger battery, but that of course would have made the phone thicker and heavier. ASUS has brought something unique to Android with the first AR and VR phone available. 
Outside of that, the Zenfone AR doesn't quite live up to most flagships in areas such as the camera or battery life, yet carries a pretty hefty price tag. If you're wanting a phone to play with augmented reality and virtual reality, then this is your best bet. If you're looking for the best phone for the price, then you might want to look elsewhere. Don't get me wrong, the Zenfone AR is not a bad phone by any means, but unless you need augmented reality, there are better bargains to be had. Thanks for watching guys, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe for more.